Man arrested for alleged, allegedly biting python twice. Snake expected to recover after emergency surgery, losing ribs and getting stitched up. Ew. From September 2nd. Sacramento, California. A snake bite in a North Sacramento neighborhood left the victim seriously hurt, but the injured party isn't whom you'd expect. David Sink, 54, was jailed on suspicion of maiming or mutilating a reptile, with bail set at $10,000, the Sacramento Bee reported. Police say a python underwent emergency surgery after a man allegedly bit the creature twice. Officers were called to Del Paso Heights around 6.30 p.m. Thursday after a passerby reported that a man was lying on the ground and might have been assaulted, according to Sergeant Andrew Petit. When they arrived, they found David Sank, 54, still laying there, lying there, excuse me, but police say he wasn't the one who had been assaulted. Another man approached officers and accused Sank of taking two bites out of his pet python, Petit said. The man, who was an acquaintance of Sank, said, told police sorry, that the suspect asked to hold the pet, then began biting the Sacramento be reported. Sink, Sank, Sunk <laughs> was arrested on suspicion of unlawfully maiming or mutilating a reptile booked at $10,000 bail. I'm reading the same thing over and over again. Did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs> Except it was written that way. Petit said it wasn't immediately clear why Sink Sank Sunk bit the snake. <laughs> Say that one three times to run. I did Or whether he was intoxicated at the time. I'm pretty sure he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A phone number listed for Sink Sank Sunk was disconnected. <laughs> The python was turned over to the animal, city's animal care services, where it was recovering Friday after losing a couple of ribs and getting stitches. She's doing well, Gina Knepp, <laughs> acting animal care services manager, told the Sacramento Bee, We did surgery on her last night, and I think we saved her life. So does that mean he sank his teeth into it? He sink, sank, sunk his teeth into it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's going to bite the dust next. Maybe. You know. He's definitely going to bite the bullet for this one. Yeah, you know. It must bite being a snake sometimes. <sighs> that really, really, really just sucks. <laughs> I didn't have another pun, sorry. <laughs> no, no. It, it, it doesn't suck, it bites. <laughs> it really, really bites. Like, I mean, it bites big ones. Bites the wee... There, bites the weenie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Magicians' tricks vanish into thin air. Kind of like our good Wait, jokes. what? Magicians' oh. tricks vanish into thin air. Are you saying magician or magician? Magician. Why? What's a <laughs> magician? Well, that, that the thingy, the, you know, hey presto, Elikazam, that person. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Are you saying a D or a G? D. <laughs> it, it's the G. <laughs> yeah, but uh, will you read it then? <laughs> <laughs> no, you do it because I want to hear exactly how many times you mutilate the word magician. I don't want to say it now. <laughs> <laughs> there is no D in magician, <laughs> but it sounds like magician. <laughs> anyway, one of those things Seeking public help after a suitcase of tricks Vanished into thin air From the boot of his car Yeah, that thing Parked his car at a takeaway outlet On North East Road Modbury early on Sunday When he returned Thieves had stolen a maroon coloured suitcase Complete with a crocodile pattern From its boot Okay, uh, inside were magical tri tricks, props, inclu including eight silver mag magical rings, <laughs> silk scarves, magical rope, a magic colouring in book, and a red waistcoat. Anyone with information on the disappearance of the suitcase or any of the contents is asked to call Bank SA Crime Stoppers on bloody bloody blah. So, yeah, now you see it, now you know. 1 800 333000. Yes. So if you know where Sorry. it went, because he didn't actually make it disappear this time, someone else did. So he doesn't know 
you know, how to sort of figure out their tricks. Just like he made the D disappear from his title. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it like that for 29 years. Do you really think I'm going to stop now? <laughs> well, it's just kind of like the uh, Bram Stroker. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So I'm a little bit blonde. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> oh, well, maybe there's still hope for me yet. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Not likely. Not likely. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I mention that I'm sick? I'm very sick. I'm very ill. Yeah, week. you know, that cough. You know, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> the bullshit cough. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, there is no segue. Go for it. <laughs> well, you know, actually, there kind of is. You know, people think you're really drunk, Belinda. Speaking of drunks. <laughs> voila. <laughs> there you go. I am the master of segue. Anyway, drunk hits Norway highway in wheelchair. An 84-year-old man, visibly under the influence of alcohol, has been arrested in Norway after driving the wrong way down a highway in his electric wheelchair. The man took to the road on Saturday evening near his home in the northern, excuse me, southern Norwegian town of Porsgrunn. Mm. Yep, police said. He passed through a 184-meter tunnel, then turned around and took the same tunnel again before being stopped by two motorists. They called traffic police, who confiscated the man's driver's license on the spot, took a blood test, the results of which are not yet known. He was visibly drunk, local police officer. Oh, dear. Yell. 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 Yo. Over your sack, said yesterday. Yeah. As laws on motor vehicles do not apply to wheelchairs, police are looking for a way to revoke the man's driver's license. Yo sack said. He can also expect a fine since highways are off limits to pedestrians and wheelchairs, he added. I wonder if they've got a sign for that. Because if it wasn't on the sign, then he could legally say that he didn't know. Legally, yeah. It's just like if um, you're driving on a road where the speed limit is not posted every so often, you can drive whatever limit you, whatever speed you want, and if they try to pull you over, you can just say, I haven't seen, seen a uh, speed limit sign for such and such miles. Mm. So, okay, so he was going the wrong way down the highway. He went through a tunnel, then turned around and went back the other way. So technically he wasn't going the wrong way the second time around. See, if 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 I were that guy, I, I don't know, I'm just imagining the guy on the electric wheelchair just going, wee through the tunnel the first time, and then he's like, that was fun, turns around, does it again, wee back the other way. Go on, hang on, that didn't sound right. Oh, I better go through again, just to make sure it's not, you know, make sure the engine's doing all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or, or maybe he was doing his little theme song, because, you know, I'm pretty convinced that those oldies that are on those mobility aids, I'm sure that they're going, as they're driving along. Because, you know, there's no CD players in those things. So you've got to make your own music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Exactly. So, <laughs> so, yes, poor man. Oh, well. Okay. Oh. Another one about automobiles. But this one sort of. Is... And California. Is it? I haven't read that far. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read the stuff, I just post it. Exactly. I just find it and go, hmm, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, Bear takes California's family Prius for a spin and leaves it wrecked. Wait. 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 California's family. (laughs) California families. (laughs) Well, yeah. Okay. This is from September 7th. Okay. The McCarthy family of Pleasanton... Oh my god, there's a place called Pleasanton. Whatever. California <clears throat> have an unusual explanation for how their 2002 Toyota Prius got totaled over the northern summer. In short, a bear took the vehicle for a spin from the driveway of their West Lake Tahoe cabin, the Contra Costa Times said. 
It seems the bear got into the car easily enough, but once inside became stuck. It got mad about it, ripping the seats open, biting a chunk out of the steering wheel and damaged the gearbox, which shifted the car into neutral. Awakened by a noise from three uh, from the 3.30 a.m. raid, the family watched from the safety of their cabin as the Prius slowly started rolling out of the slightly sloped driveway. Picked up speed, it rolled across the street, hopped a small rock wall, and finally came to a stop on the porch steps of a neighbor's house. <coughs> Brian McCarthy, 61, said he did not know why the bear, which escaped back into the woods, would want to get in a car in the first place. The car Especially was com- a Prius. I know. Um, The car was completely closed, he said. There wasn't any food in there. The only thing in there was a beach towel, some CDs, and a few phone chargers. Well, there you go. Maybe his phone was dead. Maybe. The South Lake Tahoe Police Department's Lieutenant David Stevenson, gee, that was a mouthful, said they got calls about bears often, but McCarthy's August 28th situation was a bit different. Normally you'll get reports of the dumpster divers and trash divers, but bears breaking into cars is different, he said. Read more at the Contra Costa Times. So I'm thinking, okay, this bear must be sitting next to their window and watching Top Gear every time it's on. 